All right, back in the studio at the workbench with Pinky on the bench. It's time to continue my work in restoring this pretty girl so she can get back out on the trails with me. And of course, joining me in the studio, Jem, welcome. Thank you. You're very welcome. Okay, it's, I can't believe it's not butter. Me neither. <laughs> I love butter. Yeah. All right, uh, so Pinky, long yes, history, you know, long history. Uh, last time we were working on it, uh, I was working on the axles, if you remember. I do remember that. We swapped <laughs> over to the all pinkies. Mm -hmm. Very nice. Yeah, all aluminum. It's got all new differentials on the inside. Everything's ready to go. And I mm -hmm. always mention this because the Pinky's actually, no offense, Pinky is starting to get a little heavy. <laughs> I know. Oh, she is. I know you like mm. uh, her to be quite light. I do like her to be quite light. Uh, a lot of people actually say more weight equals a uh, better crawl. You know, it gives you the ability to hop up in areas. Yeah, yeah. And we've also found with your style of drive driving, which is pretty much pedal to the metal. Uh, Crawling, you speak of. I don't understand. Yeah, that's that's right. You crawl at a fast pace. <laughs> <laughs> Uh, so we, we, we know that being with a light truck, really, it doesn't transfer a lot of damage through your truck, right? So, That's right. So, but we are starting to get the aluminum on. I did test it against the, uh, the aluminum axles, mm -hmm. against the plastic ones. Not much of a weight difference. Uh, but what I did notice was last time we were out driving, Ooh, yeah. this, the, we can turn your axles in the back, and even yeah. though it's been rebuilt, I noticed it seems to be broken right here. Oh. Yeah. Can you turn those for me? Look at that. So it's not just a <laughs> broken, uh, I don't think it's um, disconnected. I actually think that the, the output drive there, the, let's see, what's the new one called? The one piece diff locker gear. Ah. I believe that uh, the you know this is the upgrade part. It's a solid piece. I think the other one is snapped in there. It's not oh. the grub screw. Is yeah. it because I crawl fast? That would be exactly right. So it, it, I remember. Kids, don't crawl fast. This is what will happen to you. Nah. Nah. You crawl however you like. Yeah, that's right. Uh, I remember this was when you were trying to rescue me out of the pond when I went through the ice with the Jeep. <gasps> that was a fun one. Yeah, and unfortunately, and fortunately for mm -hmm. me, you were wearing boots. Rubber boots. So you could grab my truck, and it was awesome. So thank you for going out and rescuing me. <laughs> <laughs> All right. Uh, Can so, I help with something? Yeah, if you want, you want to remove the back to. tire. Everyone also noticed that your steering's a little bit on the floppy side. <laughs> <laughs> Today is a compliment gem day. Thanks, guys. Feel good. <laughs> I mean, literally, your steering uh -huh. is quite floppy. Uh, so Sorry, I have to move a little bit. Yeah. We, we did have the old, um, um, I think it was level 3 RC uh, version 1 of the steering link. It was not very good, mm -hmm. unfortunately. It bent easily because you hit a lot of rocks, if you remember. So I went ahead and cut. I can't get that undone. <laughs> Sometimes Medic needs to start them for me Here so I can go. finish. Here, just discuss those then. Okay, so we've got two long columns, well, a short column and a longer column for steering. Yes, they are. <laughs> They're steering rods. They are steering rods. Yes, and what is the short one used for? My back tires. <laughs> no, 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 no. <laughs> Excellent. So the short one is going to fit on top that will attach to the steering and servo. And hope it go like this. Yes. Can you show us that again? <laughs> <laughs> yes, it will move the steering for you. So, uh, back tire is removed. Thank you. Oh, no, I just need you to start it for me and I, yeah. I can totally finish it. Hey, no problem. Uh, I think that looks pretty good, that's actually. That's pretty great. It looks pretty nice. Yeah. Let's actually Ooh, remove nice. the transmission. Okay. Uh, I got the tire. I got the, the uh, rig. Here you go. I'll just get you to use this and you can undo the transmission from the bottom. <laughs> You're so helpful. <laughs> That's not it. Nope. <laughs> Sunday morning. <laughs> yes. That's nice. Being filmed on Sunday morning. morning after a late night. I went to a great birthday party for my Happy buddy birthday. Chad yesterday. Happy birthday, Chad. Thanks yeah. for uh, being a friend. Yeah. Uh, and so do you want to grab the transmission over here? Okay, got as it. As soon as I undo these, it's going to want to come out. Let's flip it onto its okay. wheels. You betcha. It come out far enough. It did. Nice. You've done that before. I have. Pretty dirty under there, hey? Well, we, 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 we yeah. yeah. <laughs> <laughs> 
Okay. I got no excuse for having dirty under britches. Nope, nope, nope. Well, except I should have had them nice and clean for you, shouldn't I? Well, if you could see my car right now, folks, it is winter. It's yucky. Out that is true. Mm -hmm. Soldering iron to get the. Uh... Great tool, by the way. Isn't this nice? The it power nice. probe. <laughs> it's good to have the right tools. Uh, especially when you're out on the trail. Yeah. It's just a butane, um, a butane soldering iron. Mm. -hmm. Just butane. Using it. I used to know the chemical formula for that. Yeah. 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 You were a chemistry buff, weren't I you? I was. I actually did really, really well in university chemistry. You know what? I don't want to mess with this. Anymore. You know what? Let's just do it the right way. The right way. I don't know. I don't know. I think we're just going to cut it off. Ah, side cutters. <gasps> wires. Look how corroded they are on the inside. Uh, and all that copper. Wow. Yeah. Why, why all the corrosion? Well, the mud, the water, all the ice, slush, everything we've been in. <laughs> the elements, one the, might say. Absolutely. So we'll replace your motor wires. Right. But what we're really wanting to do is get inside the transmission today. Okay. Okay, so I'm actually going to have to remove the uh, spur gear. I would get you to do this, darling, but your wonderful nails, I don't want them to get all messed up here. I do it with the power of my hands. There you go. <laughs> <laughs> okay, so you already have uh, the, steel, the steel um, spur gear. Excellent, and that's in good condition. I'll take Super that little washer. Super condition, yep, there's the washer there. Yes, sir. And there is a bearing on the inside. Great. So Robinson Racing Products, I ordered that online. Here is your slipper clutch system. Still slipper clutch system? Slipper clutch system. Slipper clutch system. Okay, I'm going to put this drive uh, pin one of those in the pins. back. I gotta watch out for those pins. Please do not lose yes. that. I'm going to place it like that. Very nice. It's good to have a good tool work set. Uh, I agree. Yes. Let's okay. move these over here for quick access. And looks like none of the above. <laughs> there we go. Always prepared. Hey. That's why we have the tools in the end. Yeah. Like that. Thank you. You want to do it? I do. I. Other way, dear. Yeah. I was just making sure the lefty Lucy was still intact. <laughs> and here is one more spacer for the top idler okay. here. Here is two more spacers for the. Don't let them separate so that one goes on top with the other one. Thank you. And. Dun 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 dun. Oh. Uh, uh. Wow, who's in charge of the unscrewing? Yeah, that was Terrible my fault. Job. My fault, no problem. There we go. Okay, so here we go. Here's what I'm talking about. So inside the transmission, guys, this is for an Axial SCX10. Uh, you can see how the, this is an output drive, what I would refer to as an output drive. The whole thing, this plastic idler gear, I'm surprised I actually have a plastic one in here and I haven't upgraded this, but I kind of remember switching your truck over to a newer one. Mm -hmm. Kind of like the goldfish dying scenario. Oh. I just swapped it out and put the body back on. So... <laughs> Uh, I feel like I've just been on one of those secrets exposed things from the, you know, when they say things about the White House. It just yes. feels like I just know an inside secret now. Okay, look at okay. how badly this is all bent Ooh, that and chewed is... up. So it was sliding and slipping around. I'm not a metal doctor, but that does not look good. No, it was eaten in there pretty good. So we have a replacement for that. RRP. Okay, this is a 1542 AX10 Scorpion one-piece hardened diff locker gear. Wow. Uh, I'm telling you folks, it's about, you know, it depends on where you buy it, 25, 35, you might even find it for 20 bucks, totally worth the upgrade because it's one solid piece. Okay. Okay. Right. This is the same place that I got your spur gear from and we'll actually upgrade your other gears nice. as well, your idler gears so they don't strip out. Nice one piece. That looks great. One solid piece. So really this should last me a lot longer. This will last you forever for the life of the truck. Oh. Um, yeah, you're not going to get those big divots. And even if you start to get a little bit of a gouge, mm -hmm. it's not going to cause a weak point and snap it off, right? Yep, that is a big thumbs up, especially with your throttle, right? Because you're like forward, backward, forward, backward sometimes. Same with this. This is That's actually what causes the wear back and forth. It's the fast forward, backward, forward, Yeah, backward, and when forward, you've got backward. even the 27 turn, the, the yeah. stock motor is, I find, one of the best mud motors you can get. It lasts forever. Well, and I should know. I'm in a lot of mud. That's true. Yeah. That is true. Okay, so really simple. Uh, I'm going to check the bearings. Kay. Bearings. 
That one's actually on its way out, but it's not too bad. Okay. So I'm just going to shoot some lube onto it. Okay, I'll hold it while you grab the lube. <laughs> Uh, we could actually use uh, grease straight out of the grease gun. Mm, uh, I like the grease gun, that little ch ch Okay, <laughs> the largest grease gun for the smallest Should we job. back this camera up? Uh, no, sorry babe, this is the best I can do. How would you like me to hold it? <laughs> <laughs> Just like that. <laughs> Look at that, a dollop. Yep. A done. dollop of lube. I actually had to use the whole grease gun because I couldn't find the other one. <laughs> wow. That's okay. That'll so I have do. to get the entire table. That'll do fine. Okay. Uh, so back with the Opa Drive. Doesn't matter which side, nope. Just gonna kind of slop it around there. Mm. Mm-hmm. <laughs> there you go. Thank you. So not too much grease, just a tad. Just enough to make it wet. Yeah, if you put in too much grease, unfortunately, it doesn't function very well, yeah, right? It's all greasy, that's gross. Yeah, no, no, it just it gets gummed up, right? So it doesn't work very good. Uh, <laughs> not very much, just, nice. a, just a bit. Okay, the bearings on the inside here, they actually feel pretty darn good. Mm. And so the only thing I'm missing for you is an idler gear. Now this is what will strip out if we add too much power okay. because the metal teeth on either side will start to round out that gear and that's never a good thing, right? Okay. But for the meantime, I don't have another idler gear so we're gonna have to let you have that one, my dear. Sounds great, I like it. At least we only know it's one weak point and how easy it is to get everything apart. So a little bit of grease on the inside okay. of this bearing as well. Looks great. Good enough. Close it up. Yep. Squeezes together nicely. It does squeeze together nicely. And then your output drive, the brand new one, is in place. So awesome. Great. Okay, let's rebuild the transmission. Sounds great. All right, babe, I'm just going to clean out some of your motor. It's pretty corroded, even though it's fairly new. Using Cow RC's motor cleaner and degreaser. <laughs> it's basically just a solvent. Motor cleaner. That's exactly it. <laughs> All right, this way when I solder to get uh, the old wires off your motor, mm -hmm. everything will still be clean. Great. Yeah, not too bad actually. I expected a lot more dirt to come out of there, but not bad. It was just surface because we did replace this fairly yeah. recent, I remember. Beauty. Thank you. Very welcome. Okay, so I basically already got some of the old wire off. Just using my soldering iron to clean up the posts. Just gonna let that dry for a second. Nice. Do have my wire brush here. I'm just gonna clean on the inside. Not too worried about that new uh, solder or solder. Mm -hmm. People say it differently around the world, of course. Really all the same thing. It's all the same thing. A little bit of corrosion. Mm -hmm. Look at the dust. Look at actually that's not very good at all. Hmm. hmm. I wonder how far back that goes though. Well, does it go right? Like we're looking for mold and does some it... drywall. It's awful. <laughs> it's not bad actually. It's a lot of it's okay. just dust. Um, that's not a big deal at all. It looks like it's still pretty clean on the end though. And since it goes right into your ESC, I might as well swap out the ESC, but we'll do that when it fails. So let's use these wires for now. We might as well give it a try. Let's okay. see. Is there going to be enough room? <laughs> more than enough. Did I get that the right direction? I think I did. I think you did too. I did. So those actually, let's clip them back even farther then. Let's see how far that corrosion goes back. Let's see it. And I do have the opportunity to do that. I'm going to leave the bottom one just a little bit longer. Okay. Let's clear that off. Because if that corrosion only came to a certain point, then no big deal. Just means that next time we'll have to change your ESC. How she look? Actually pretty good. I can see a tiny bit of dust there, but not too bad. Crazy. Yeah. Little tiny wires. Yeah. Well, that's because everything, the water, you know how water leaches up and wicks around everywhere? I do. I have very healthy respect for water. Yeah. It can go where it wants, basically. Mm -hmm. So we're going to clean it up with a little bit of flux, an acid that helps clean mm -hmm. the wires and helps the solder or solder. I just or, like the word flux. Flux. What the flux? What the flux? <laughs> there we go. Love that tool. Yeah, it's awesome. I really enjoy this as well. We're just basically going to tin the ends. So where is my solder? Do I see oh, it? Right here. Right Sorry, there. My bad. Nurse. Yeah, nurse. Thank you. I passed it to you underneath so we know it was it handy. Oh, it's fine. Mm. 
There we go. Nice. There, give us a little blob that'll help us nice. attach to the motor. Okay. The motor itself, not really giving a lot of leeway to pulling it out later, uh, but that's all right. I know it's hard for the people at home to see, but... It's hard to hear when you're standing right here to see it too. Just wanted to get that bottom wire connected. Yeah. Now I'll do the top. Who invented the soldering iron? That's a good question. I don't yeah. know. I should Google that. I think everybody's Googling it right now. They'll post it below. I'd like that. <laughs> By the end of this episode, we'll know. <laughs> Who invented the soldering or soldering iron? Yes. Or iron. Iron? Yeah. <laughs> Just a couple of goofballs working on an RC. There you go. Looks good. Yeah, I've seen tide here. Yeah, that's nice though. Thank you, darling. You're welcome. Okay, so uh, drive shaft. Mm -hmm. Grub screws. Yeah. Grub screws and drive shaft. Grub screws and drive shaft. I'm going to use some of the motor cleaner to actually clean off the grime on the drive shaft. Motor cleaner. <laughs> Uh, I will not take that quite yet. Soon, okay. though. Soon. I just want to know that I'm at the ready. You are always at the ready, darling. Okay, so this side, we're going to tighten it up. I'll also add some lubrication. Yeah, that it looks, looks dry. Looks, it's very dry. <laughs> Would you like me to get the large lube gun out? <laughs> Okay, so I always try to use a very light amount of grease okay. in these joints. And the reason put some on my finger? The reason why is because if you no, I'll use a dry grease. The reason why is because if it's too globby, you yeah. just attract dirt. Okay. Dirt gets in there, it's a big dry pain. grease. Tell me more. Uh, like a lithium, something oh, okay. like that. Something okay. that sprays and dries but keeps it well lubricated. Okay, good to know. Yeah. Thanks. Yeah. There we are. Uh, for example, mm -hmm. I guess I don't have any here with me, but at the shop, you know, like Cow RC makes this. Yeah. They also make Moo Slick, which is I've a silicone spray. Yeah, yeah, I've used some here at the house before. Moo Slick. <laughs> yeah, thank you very much for that. Uh, drive shaft, here's the other side. Great. Gonna want to use those grub screws okay. now, thank you. Turn it around and find a flat spot on that output drive. Like so, small grub screw. Small grub screw. A lot of people will use Loctite on these mm -hmm. uh, screws just to keep uh, keep sure that it stays nice and tight. I prefer not to use Loctite, even though if sometimes mm -hmm. it's absolutely necessary. But on these types of drive shafts, it's got holes on either side for grub screws. Okay. So I'm I find, uh, well, it's, you still can need it, but I find if you use too less of a chance that they'll come undone. Mm, gotcha. Right? It's Got always a good tip. Yeah, it's always worth buying a bag of grub screws to have around. Two screws, please. Two screws. Yeah. And I can hear young Morris is up from his nap. I can also hear young Morris is up from his nap. I think that I will get you to go tend to him and I will finish installing the transmission. Well, thanks for hanging out with me. Well, and, you'll, uh, you'll be back. I'll be back. Okay, see you in a second. You have grease all over your hands. I know, that's why I did it. <laughs> up from his nap. <laughs> I am. <laughs> oh, are you saying goodbye to everybody? Hello. Hello and goodbye. Hi buddy. Do you have a good nap? Hey, I love the excavator on your shirt. <laughs> Belly. Belly button. Very nice. Hello buddy. I'll come give you a hug. Bye. Mwah. <laughs>